I'm my beautiful Pisces. Okay, let's channel this message. Thank you guys for the love, the support. Let's channel this message. What is the message here I need to get to? My beautiful Pisces here. What is the message I need to get to my beautiful Pisces? Let's see here. I need to get to Pisces there. What is the message I need to get to Pisces? Beautiful Pisces. What is the channel message? Okay. This is weird. I'm, get, I, I'm hearing that I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to just be your friend. The message I need to get to Pisces. Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing somebody saying, I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. They want more. I'm hearing that they want more. So, yeah, someone's, oh, yeah, somebody wants more. I feel like Pisces, I get this energy that somebody wants more. They want more out of this connection. They want more out of this relationship. And they may be expressing it. Look at my son in the background. <laughs> So yeah, Pisces, somebody here is really wanting something real and tangible here with you. They want an opportunity here, okay? That's what they're feeling. They're feeling this big opportunity here with you to walk through some type of a door of abundance. This is like when I see the Ace of Pentacles, you know, you can look at it as a big financial opportunity here, uh, opportunity that they feel like is going to be very prosperous here. Um, so yeah, someone's opening up to you. They're communicating to you about this. You know, I feel like they're 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 getting something off of their chest, getting something off of their mind here. Yeah, Pisces, I, it's like, you know, somebody here wants this to work. You know, they feel discouraged about this, but they do want, they want a chance here with you is what I'm seeing. So somebody's wanting a chance here with you, Pisces. This is an opportunity. Someone feels like there's a golden opportunity here with you. So they, stay, they don't look at you as just, you know, friends or friendship material. They don't look at you as just like... Uh, something fleeting here. They feel like this is something real and worth exploring. Yeah, temperance. Okay, you can be dealing with the Sagittarius energy. Yeah, this person here has a very like a very good connection here with you. Okay, um, I feel like this person feels so at peace here with you. They feel serene here with you. Um, they just they're wanting to just go with the flow and see where this can go. This is what I'm seeing. Like, this person kind of really wants to go with the flow. They want to go with the flow, and they want to see where this can go. There's a lot of flirtatious energy, but Pisces, why I get this energy that this is you? You may be trying to, like, stop something here. You may be, like, because the Queen of Cups is in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse. You're, you're blocking something. I feel like you were doing this. You're blocking something here with this person. You're blocking the progression of this. You may be wanting to close your emotions off or close your feelings off here. Um, maybe you're just not emotionally available, you know, uh, I feel like you're coming up as, instead of the queen of cups upright, you're coming up as like the queen of swords energy. You're more of like, it's like you're, you're more of saying, Ooh, that's my doggy. You guys, uh, you're more of saying what is going to work. What's not going to work. You may be trying to just be logical about the situation. So I feel like this is what you're doing. You're just, it, it just feels like you're not trying to put your emotions and your feelings out there too deeply maybe closed off emotionally but yeah you're blocking something you're blocking the, pro the progression of something you're not communicating from an open heart you're not expressing yourself from an open heart same this person feels very intimate here with you they feel like whatever it is that you guys have or whatever it is that they're trying to build or have here with this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is somebody here who wants something very intimate here with you. They feel very intimate connection here with you. Yeah, two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Um, Pisces, I feel like they're taken back with the Nine of Wands. They're taken back in some way. They're really... Okay, this could be a Sagittarius or a Libra here. Um, they're very taken back by a situation here with you. For some reason, I just heard that it could be a Cancer. Yeah. Yeah, they're really, you got them really in their fucking head, Pisces. I'm not sure how you responded or what you said, 
But there's something that you said, Pisces. There's something out your mouth that you communicated with this person. For some of you guys, it's going to be past, present, future energy. There's something that you communicate to this person that really has them in their fucking head. You know, it has them in their head. It has them really kind of confused, um, really trying to figure out, like, you know, but the Page of Cups in reverse, I don't feel like somebody here wants to be a friend of you. I feel like they may want more, but I feel like they may be thinking negatively about the situation now, um, and they may be feeling indecisive here based off of something that you may have communicated to them or your body language. It feels like this could be your body language or a way that you're acting or behaving. Oh, okay, so I'm hearing that they don't know how to take you. They're very passionate about you, Pisces. Like, there's no doubt about it. They're attracted to you. Hey, this could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. This could be a, a Sagittarius energy, um, Libra energy. This person is very passionate about you, Pisces. They are. They're attracted to you. They feel... Pisces, what the hell are you saying to this person? They feel really bad about what you're saying. You're communicating something. Um, but it's like... I don't feel like it's something that they want to hear. It's not something that they really wanted to hear. Pisces, don't let something from your past, don't let spilt milk things here from your past control your future and your destiny or control a big opportunity for you, you know, to be at peace, to be in harmony with someone. You know, that's all I can say. Because someone here, they, they feel indecisive. See judgment in reverse. This person feels very indecisive here, and it's so weird because this is what they want. They want stability here. They want to come together. Like, they feel like you don't want the same things, or they may feel like, you know, Ooh. why do I get this energy where Pisces, be careful because your energy and your emotions has a lot to do with what the what decision that this person is making. I do not feel like this person is juggling you. I do not feel like this person is a whole. I do not feel like this person is a player. I feel like this person is absolutely interested in you. I feel like this person loves your vibe. They love your feelings, your emotions. I feel like they're very passionate about you. They're attracted to you. But the judgment in reverse is them having second thoughts or second guessing it. Okay, they're second guessing is what it, what, okay. They're second guessing this opportunity here with you. But the only reason why they're second guessing this is because of you. Tell me more. They're second guessing, you know, what they felt. Ooh, damn, the Empress in reverse. And the Sun, and then we have the Page of Cups with the fucking lovers. Whew. All right. Someone's second guessing this happiness that they could have with you, this new beginning in love here with you. This could be a Gemini. This could be a Leo. Someone's second guessing this new beginning here in love with you. Damn it. I'm not sure if someone thinks that you still love someone else. They may still think you love someone else. They may still think you're in love with someone else. They may still think you have feelings for someone else. Whether you know it or not, um, there is there is like a, a person that's trying to, because you don't know it and you don't see it, but there is somebody here who's trying to, uh, what's the word? There's a woman or there's another man here that is trying to infiltrate a connection with this person. So they are, they do have past life connections in their energy. Okay. And people that are trying to infiltrate a connection here with them. Maybe even trying to seduce them is what I'm hearing. So you have people that's trying to seduce this person, uh, but they're not interested in that. They see a better opportunity here with you, Pisces. But there is somebody in particular, maybe a baby mama or a baby daddy, or maybe just some, yeah, because the two of cups. There is somebody here who's trying to like infiltrate a connection here with this person, okay? Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, uh, a Libra. But there's somebody here that is trying to, like, um, it's weird. It's like they're trying to, okay, okay. They're not really trying to be in a relationship with this person. Spirit, you about to let me snitch and tell it all. I'm not snitching on these people. Stop. 
So there's somebody that's trying to have some type of relation or connection with this person, but they're not trying to be serious about them. So it's like a baby mama or a baby daddy or another woman or another man, okay, a mature woman or man that's trying to um, come between whatever it is that you guys are feeling for each other, so make connection here. So Pisces, like I was saying, there's somebody here that may be trying to get in between this relationship or this connection, and it's weird. And the only reason why they're doing this is because they feel like this person have uh, this person is interested in you. So it's one of those things like this person has found you, they met you, they like you, they're attracted to you. You may have their attention, and now that now that now that this person is giving all their attention to you in some way. Somebody else want to come in between the situation because they're like, hold up, this person's not giving me attention anymore. So now there's a third party. There's another woman or a man or a baby mama or a baby daddy or a mature woman or man, you know, that's coming in the situation, coming between the situation, trying to make themselves out of nowhere appear to be whatever it is that they're trying to appear to be because they want attention from this person. But this person is trying to have a new beginning here. They're trying to have an opportunity. They're trying to walk through the door of abundance here with you. They're trying to have a connection here with you. They're trying to have a relationship here with you, Pisces. But they're beginning, they're indecisive. And they're also indecisive, you know, you taking a little bit of responsibility for this, Pisces. They're also indecisive here because there, there's a part of you that feels like, you know, you're pushing them away or you're closed off emotionally too. Or you're not wanting to get hurt, you know? Or whatever it is that you've communicated or didn't communicate or said to them. Because I feel like there's something that you've said, Pisces. So they're indecisive. And I don't feel like they're trying to juggle. They're just indecisive. And that's why it feels like a Libra energy. Tell me more. This person does want to be in a relationship here with you, uh, Pisces. But we have the Seven of Swords here. Okay. Yep. So yeah, this person does want to be in a relationship here with you, Pisces, is what it looks like. So they do, they do feel this very intimate, close connection here with you. And I do feel like they want a relationship here with you. Um, they may be communicating this, but there, there, there's an indecisiveness here. And the indecisiveness is coming from this another person that has come into the picture or that's like trying to have this opportunity with this man or this woman. All right, so Pisces, the heart of how this person in this reading is a seven of swords. So this is letting me know that this person, <laughs> this person is, how can I say this without throwing them under the bus? Because I don't see them as a very negative person. This person is honestly, I got to keep it real. God, I forgot what I was about to say. What just came to me? How spirit wanted me to say this. <laughs> really spirit hold on this is crazy i'm getting like two different things and it, it goes together so i'm trying to get the story right so this person is really honestly pisces <sighs> that's crazy it's it's about to sound really weird they're not deceiving you pisces they're not deceiving you but it's like they're deceiving the other person this is about to get real tricky they're not deceiving you, Pisces, but they are deceiving the other person. Oh, wow. So it's like one of those things where I'm going to tell this other person, it's like they're telling someone else another, a different situation or a different story, but in reality, they want you. So you'll know your situation. Someone's deceiving someone else. Someone's wanting to sneak here. You know, like they're not with this person. They're not in a relationship with this person, but they know that this person wants to be in a relationship with them. And it's like someone's like deceiving the other person here to thinking that they're still undecided or they still haven't like decided yet about a relationship, which they really haven't. This person does want you, but yeah, it's kind of weird. They want their wishes fulfilled here with you, but I kind of feel like this person may be like um, leading someone else on in a way, but it's kind of weird. They're leading someone else on. Hold up. One card, sticky cards. Yeah, death. Now, this is sad. Okay. Ugh, wow. Someone's leading somebody else on to think a certain way or for a situation to look a certain way when really I feel like they're trying to end things with that person. 
they're trying to sneak away from that person. Um, it's just really weird. It's like they're trying to get away from that person. They're trying to get away from that person, Pisces. It sounds really weird, but that's what it looks like. It's weird. They're not deceiving you. It's like they're deceiving the other person to making them feel like they want to be with them when they really don't. And that's like there's an ending here. Like they're they're transitioning or they're putting an ending to something here with the baby mama, baby daddy, or a third party or another person because they want abundance. They want a new beginning here with you. They want the relationship, the connection here with you. And they feel this connection, this intimate connection here with you. And it's like, it could have been somebody here who they were just having, I'm going to honestly say, could have been somebody here who they were just having some type of relationship here, or a sexual relationship here with, or some type of intimate relationship. But it's like, that's it. Like, we're not together. We're not in a relationship. Like, I've never made that decision. Um, I never came to that, that judgment here to be in that. Like, so they're trying to like, it's like they're trying to ease somebody down gently or trying to tell this person that, hey, you know, we're not like that. It's not like that. <laughs> we're not like that. Like, you know, how can I tell somebody I don't want them without telling them that I don't want them? I don't know who you guys are dealing with. I'm just going to spill all the tea here. So whoever you're dealing with, this is what I'm seeing. Tell me more. Yeah, because it's you, Pisces. <laughs> Gosh, it's you. It's two women here. Oh my goodness. This is about to be crazy here. This is about to be crazy. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Pisces, this is your energy. You're coming up as the Queen of Cups death card. They're trying to have an ending with this other person so that they can have a new beginning here with you, Pisces. But you're coming up as the Queen of Cups in reverse, so you're closing your emotions off and you're just right. I feel like you just don't trust it. Like, you know, you're really in your head about it. You don't trust it. You can't make a decision to here to be like in a relationship with this person, maybe a full-blown relationship or a committed relationship or to really like, you know express this that that you're wanting this new beginning here with this person you may be trying to like friends on this person or just try to tell this person that you know maybe we should just be friends whatever it is that you're trying to do here to protect yourself you're closing your emotions off and your feelings here to a situation here <sighs> They're not trying to, they're, put, they're trying to put an ending with someone else because they want you, Pisces. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there is, oh my God, they're cutting off this sexual relationship with this other person because, oh my God, Pisces, they're trying to say it was a one night stand. They're trying to say that situation was a one night stand or it was just a sex only relationship. And, you know, I really didn't really love that person. I really didn't care about that person. It wasn't nothing like that. We're not that serious. You know, I, this is about to be a crazy i see this this yeah honestly though pisces they may be trying to convince you that this was a one-time thing or one night stand but i do kind of feel like this may have been like a it may have been like a passionate new start i feel like yep because the empress is here with this so it could have been like a one night of passion or something very passionate that they have with this person that they started up with this person but i don't feel like it you know it's not it didn't move anything. It didn't move towards like an emotional connection or love. So I'm not sure if you know this person or if you like, maybe you're friends with this person. Maybe you are, maybe you're, you're, uh, you know this person. Maybe this may be an associate because you guys are very like, you're on top of each other right here. So it feels kind of weird. I feel like this is like somebody you know, and this is somebody they know. So it's kind of weird. Like you guys both know this person in some way or you know of this person, okay? So it just, it feels kind of like, it feels like they tried not to, the seven of swords, is, I don't really feel like they tried to deceive you. I just kind of felt like they left that part out. They left a part out here because they didn't, because it's like either you know this person, you've been around this person, you work with this person, you, you've been friends with this person, you went to school with this person, you guys may be friends on social media, something like that, where they were like, damn, I don't want no smoke, I don't want no heat, I don't want you to like, you know, I don't want to like fuck up something with Pisces and lose something, be all because you know someone or whatever. <laughs> This is it's too much. Like, I don't feel like they were trying to deceive you, though, Pisces. I really don't. I just feel like they were trying their best not to 
get to the place where they had to have that conversation here with you about what that dynamic of that relationship was. Tell me more. So Pisces, this is like a turn off to you. Seven of Pentacles, this is a turn off to you. The fact that it even maybe dealt with this person, the fact that this may be their baby mama, baby daddy, or the fact that this other issue, it's not an issue. The fact that this person here, I feel like this person still kind of like still have romantic feelings. I feel it's not, I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like there's somebody else who still kind of wants to deal with this person um, from time to time or whatever. No love here, no emotional connection here whatsoever. It's just a fling. And I feel like Pisces, this may turn you off because you're the queen of cups with the ace of wands. So this situation has turned you completely off, right? You're not as passionate or interested. You don't know if you want to have a new passion to start with this person. You may not even know if you want to be intimate with this person. Um, the seven of pentacles is here though. So I just feel like this is you. You don't, you don't want to invest in the situation here. Um, and I feel like you may be communicating that, but I also feel like this person is still, I feel like this person is trying to figure out what it is that they need to do. This person is really, really like, I feel like, excuse me, I feel like they're worried that or they feel anxious or uh, because they feel like if you know about this, like you may not want to invest in something here with them anymore. Wow. The fool. Yeah, this person does want this. Uh, get, this is about to be real life crazy here. The fool here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus. Taurus or Libra. So you could be dealing with the Aries, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, you guys. Ooh, this person. This person is like, is now or never. Like somebody is like, somebody is really trying to avoid having this conversation with you or investing in this conversation here with you. Um, they may feel like you may know this person or maybe they feel like you may have had like yeah, some type of history with this person. So someone's, this person wants a new beginning here with you, Pisces. They really do want abundance here with you. And they're like, they're indecisive if they should like let you know about some type of relation that they had with someone else. And they're trying to say that it was just sexual. It was just a passionate thing. Um, there was no love. There was no connection. There was no relationship. There was no real relationship here. This thing, they're trying to let you know that this wasn't really tangible here. So they want to, the fool here is like, they do want to take a leap of faith here. Um, and the, the leap of faith that they're taking here has a lot to do with something that they have been trying to run away from or not tell you. Damn, this is about to be really hell. But you know what? <laughs> this is about to be crazy. Give me one more card here. Yeah, they're really worried about this shit. Nine of Wands? Shoot. Man, they worry, Pisces. They're like, look at them. They're just like, what the hell is Pisces going to think? Really confused. Really in their emotions and their feelings. Damn. Trying to find a way not to, not to like hurt someone else or hurt you or not trying to make the situation worse than what it is. This three of swords energy is like disappointment here. A sense of betrayal. They may feel like they're, they may feel like at this point, they may be feeling like they're manipulating you. They're bamboozling you. They're manipulating you. And they feel it. They know it. But they're only doing it because they don't want to miss out on this relationship or this new beginning in love with you or this connection here with you. So they may have been choosing not to say anything because they've been really in their head about it. You know, it's like it's like when you first date someone and you realize, oh, shit, I date this person's sister before. I date your cousin before. Or I've had relations with your 
cousin before. I'm not sure. Do I tell this or do I not tell this? Do I mess up this connection or what do I do? What what am I supposed to do at this point? Because in the near future, though, I see like they're still passionate about you and they want this new beginning here with you. They really want to take a leap of faith. They really want to see where this is going to go here. But the Nine of Wands is them overly paranoid and precautious here about this new beginning here with you because they may feel like maybe this other person might sabotage this. This is a hot fucking mess. This is a hot mess. You hear me? A hot mess. <laughs> the card that came out was keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectation. To me, there's two women in this card, like I said, and there's a man. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like someone is like, damn, they may have dated or they may have been interested or dealing with somebody that you knew. And now they realize, hell, shit, you're better. You're a better catch than this other person. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Like, that's what it looks like to me. Oh, goodness. Cards flying out. So, yeah. Maybe this is like, I don't know why I heard this, but maybe this could be your family member. This could be somebody you know, Pisces. This could be like friendship. I don't know. Maybe it's not somebody you know. Maybe it's just an associate, you know? Maybe it's someone who you know of, but that doesn't mean you know the person like that. But, yeah. Let's see. A uh, person is definitely not a player, definitely not trying to play games here with you. They're just indecisive if they should let you know about that connection that they had with someone else. So what's the message I need to get to Pisces in regards to the situation? One card, please. Okay, this one turned over. Uh, let your friends help you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Pisces. Ooh. I was just saying this could be your friend or your family. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so when I see this card, let your friends help you. I really kind of feel like over our energy, yeah, I was just saying this shit. Heart to heart conversation and deception right behind it. So yeah, it's like, damn, I dealt with this person and now I'm trying to deal with you. And now there's like a conversation or there's something here that someone's not trying. They're trying. They don't want to talk to you about it. Damn, they're like, do I really have to let, um, let Pisces know this? They may want you to accept something here. See, ask for and accept support from others. This is about acceptance. You know, will you accept this? Will you not accept this? They're not sure if you're going to accept this or not. You know, if you're going to accept this, if you're going to be open here. You know, so yeah, this is why I'm this is why I'm seeing Pisces. You know, they may. I feel like this person doesn't want to lose your support. They don't want to lose your love. They don't want to lose you. Um, and they just hope that you can accept something here they hope that you can accept something here okay Oof, moving forward 